Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I'm trying to contain my excitement for this one. The VMAs were last night. The best night of the year and it's done this year. It was last night and so many iconic moments. Nicki Minaj, her performance. Oh my God, her performance. I'm getting into but that look. I saw pictures on Instagram. I, I'm obsessed with it. That Barbie look. I posted last night during the VMAs, I was live tweeting as things came out, as things happened, as everyone rolled up to the red carpet. I was active over on Twitter. So go check out my Twitter and what my first thoughts were. But Nikki was iconic, Blackpink were iconic, Taylor Swift, that lady, that woman, that announcement, that look she wore, that diamond look, She's released an album on October 21st. We're gonna be reacting to it, but this video is not the time for that. Go check my Instagram story and you'll see all my thoughts on my Instagram about that. But as you can see down below, Nikki, this video is about Nikki. I'm a massive Barb. I've been a Barb for years, since 08, 09. Nikki, since day one. The pink prints up here, you can see. I have little elements behind me of things I like and Nikki's definitely one of them. Nikki is someone I've stuck with for years. I'm obsessed with their music and we're going to be getting into this performance now. From what I know, they've done a mashup of a lot of songs and I'm intrigued. I'm so intrigued to hear what songs were chosen. Let's just get into it. Guys, before I hit play, subscribe. Subscribe if you're a Barb. Subscribe if you loved the VMAs last night and subscribe if you want to see more reactions in the future. And let's just hit play. Not this Nikki sign looking like Barbie in her Barbie box. Oh, all things go. All things go. We're starting off with all things go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yo. I put the beat and bent, I put the beat and bent, I put the heat and bent, man, I think I'm peaking sense. I look beyond what people say and then I see intent, and I just sit back and decipher what it really meant. Not her, not Nikki, just doing a little intro. The Pink Print is my favorite Nikki album. It was Roman Reloaded for the longest time, but the Pink Print, the more I've matured, the more I've grown up and gotten older, I appreciate that album more. And here, her start with that, the Pink Print does not get the recognition it deserves. It does not get the credit it deserves. It's so understated. It's so... It's not appreciated enough. It's such a good album. And now we're transitioning to Roman's Revenge. <gasps> Roman's coming out. Roman, I love the theatrical. Oh, yes, Nikki. Give that animation. Give that animation. Yes, Roman. Yes. No, yes, Nikki's performance. She's given an animation. Oh, someone's on the chair. Like the music video for Monster. Not the anger from Roman, the anger. And these contacts and the eyes. All in my beer tank, with a bad chick that came from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in the tongue, color of a Lianca. You can be the king, but watch the queen conquer. First things first, I'll eat your brain. Then I'm stop rocking gold teeth and fangs. Cause that's what a man, a man, a monster do. Yeah, just up on my lot, that's a monster do. Not Nikki doing that acapella. Not Nikki doing that acapella. No, no back and track. And giving a little choreo moment. Yes, Nikki. Oh, bees in the trap. Oh, we're getting choreo. First of all, I love this aesthetic. The pink, the Barbie style. We're really, we're really in the Pink Friday 2.0 era. She tweeted that last year and we are definitely in it. This Roman, this, this Barbie feel. Oh my gosh. And I love the nail polishes behind. This choreo moment on the chair. Oh, Chun Li. We are, we're transitioning. All these transitions. We're not getting enough of each song. 
that attitude when she leaned against that. Oh yes. One thing I want to address is this look. This little skirt moment, the shiny top half, the hair with the bow. But these shoes are it. I love these shoes with the pink laces. I would want those. I want those bad. <laughs> Not trying to be friends like I forgot. Strut Nikki. This is given 2012, 2013 feels. That's what it, it makes me so nostalgic seeing Nikki perform live. Oh my gosh. Okay, moment for life. I love that we're transitioning features and pink print, Pink Friday, Rum and Reloaded, Queen, all the albums just combined. But to live doesn't mean you're alive. I love seeing the crowd so hyped. Oh, look at the Barbie house. I love that she's interacting with the crowd, holding the mic out, getting that crowd interaction. Yes, Nikki. Not Nikki giving vocals for the chorus. Nikki's given the vocal range. She can rap, she can spit bars, and she can sing. Yes, it is backing track, but she's singing on that as well. There was a few notes she did. Oh. Uh, not super bass, not the iconic super bass. She knows it's like iconic. That facial expression, her acting surprised. Let's go back and watch that again. And look at these contact lenses, these are Roman's eyes. But, oh, she's using the full stage, she's walking across. Not Taylor Swift, not Taylor. Wrapping along to, oh yes. I love when the camera, the direction shows different celebrities interacting with the song. Dancing, vibing, singing, whatever it is. I love that. And what I was saying about the stage, Nikki's using the full stage. Yes. Oh, she's dancing. She's having fun. She's doing the iconic choreo from the music video. This must feel so nostalgic for her. Just to be doing all this again. It's been over 10 years since the song, since the music video. And it's so iconic. She's doing that. I Yes, I'm. Oh, my gosh. What next? What next, Nikki? What next? Anaconda, the lights are green. We were getting Anaconda. Oh, are we getting an outfit change? That way she's not on stage. This is a little interval moment. Oh, the dancers are killing it. These dancers are so good. Look at her butt. We're getting super freaky girl and guys this is Nikki's newest release and it's number one. It's number one everywhere. It should be and it is. I've done a reaction on it and yes there was a Romans remix but I didn't make a video on that. It was the extended version a little extra bit at the end. Obsessed with it. I love 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 and here in this transition from Anaconda to super freaky girl I'm not as surprised. I'm not surprised that she's doing this one just for promotional reasons. But to hear it live, let's hear her spit these bars. Let's go, Nikki. Okay, no outfit change. Oh my gosh, girls. Let's go back. She's not even singing. She's doing choreo, she's doing a little dance, but it's nasty. Licking her hand, putting it in places, lifting that leg up. Oh, nasty, Nikki. All them little tricks and keep that. She's having too much fun. She's having too much fun with this song. Doing these dancing, yes. She's doing the clean version. Of course she has to do the clean version, but 
those dance moves she was just doing, what was clean about that? These chickens, they F their man if they try. Yes, I understand why, but it does not sound the same. It isn't the same vibe. Samurai right man. These contacts in her eyes are so creepy, but so, so cool. I love them. She's struggling to sing this. She's struggling to sing the, the clean version. There's a poll, but we're not talking about that right now. What I was saying is she's struggling to sing the clean version. She's not doing it bad, but I can hear in her voice she's kind of hesitant on singing in case she says the explicit. And it's not a comfortable feeling knowing that, knowing that she doesn't feel comfortable singing the clean version, but she's making up for it with this choreo. We've got a poll. We've got a poll, Nikki. Oh my gosh. Ha, slap him away. She's having fun, that smile. Oh, she did that cheeky. She did that so, so cheekily. These pauses. These pauses for the explicits. It doesn't fit. I'm sorry. She's having fun. I can see the fun side. She's enjoying it. The choreo, she's consistent with the choreo. But I don't feel... I don't feel like the lyrics are fair for her. Not her ending with this pose. Iconic. Iconic, guys. That performance was iconic. It was so good. I'm gonna rate it. Mm, it's not Nikki's greatest. I'm gonna rate it, though. I'm gonna rate it 8. Mark it down because I've seen better by Nikki. That super freaky girl. That clean version. It was uncomfortable to hear. I feel like it's my opinion because I'm so used to hearing the explicit version. Hearing the clean version doesn't sound right. But Nikki's look, Nikki's vibe, Nikki's energy, Nikki's voice, the choreo, everything on stage was so, so good. So good. Top tier. 8 out of 10 is still very good. And I want to know what you think. Let me know down below what you think of the songs, the video. What do you think of the songs that were chosen? Do you think anything else should have been added? What should have been taken away? Let me know down below. And while you're doing that, follow all my social media. They're all in the description. My Instagram's on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one.